Moving into this weekend's college basketball picks, we start out um, on Friday. Um, we start out with Detroit taking on Youngstown State. Detroit minus two in this one. Now Detroit comes into this game um, as the 120, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> 246th ranked team in the hot tip bet rankings. Youngstown State 203 in the hot tip bet rankings. Um, but Detroit has really played, really shot the ball extremely well this season. You know, 36.7% from beyond the arc, 764 from um, the free throw line with an effective field goal percentage of 51.4. Youngstown State, on the other hand, 28.1 from three, 67.7 from the free throw line, and an effective field goal percentage of 47.1. Um, now, this Detroit team, while their record doesn't necessarily show, um, it doesn't line up, I guess, with um, some of this scoring, you know, four and eight on the season compared to Youngstown State, eight and eight. Um, I think this Detroit team is a very, a very talented team. Um, has a lot of potential. Um, they've done a great job this season limiting turnovers. You know, only turning it over on 15.6% of their possessions, while Youngstown State turned it over on 17.8% uh, of theirs. I mean, they're just a better offensive team all around. 123rd uh, uh, in adjusted offensive efficiency. Um, Youngstown State 134 in adjusted offensive efficiency. So, um, like Drake or not Drake, <laughs> got Drake on the mind still. Like do or, oh my goodness, I can't say it. <laughs> like Detroit <laughs> minus two to take care of business um, versus Youngstown State. Um, the second game we have on Friday's card, we got Appalachian State taking on Troy. Appalachian State comes into this one. It's the 195th ranked team in the hot tip bet rankings. Um, Troy comes in at 304. Um, you know, Appalachian State does a very good job um, so far this season winning basketball games, you know, 12 and 5 on the season, Troy 6 and 9 on the season and Appalachian State um, just just done a really good job. You know, one of their, their strongest parts of their game is turnovers, you know, not turning it over that much, only turning over 19.2 percent of their possessions. Well, Troy, on the other hand, turning over on 21.9 percent of theirs. Um, and they're also just a very good team on offense, especially when it comes to shooting the basketball, you know, 34.5 percent from three with an effective field goal percentage of 50.8. Um, Troy, on the other hand, 27.3 from three and you know, an effective field goal percentage of 42.9, um, you know. App State comes in 147 in offensive efficiency compared to Troy's 325. So definitely like Appalachian State to cover that spread and take care of business in that game. Um, the next game we got another Horizon League game. We got uh, Green Bay taking on Cleveland State. Now we were against Green Bay um, a few days ago. Um, but, you know, Green Bay comes under this game as the 277th ranked team. Um, Cleveland State two nice, ta, 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 210. <laughs> Um, Green Bay done a very good job of uh, shooting the basketball this season. 73% from the free throw line. Cleveland State 65.7 from the free throw line. Um, you know, but one part, one th really good thing about Green Bay is there is their three point ball. You know, 36.1% from beyond the arc. Um, while Cleveland State only 30.8% from beyond the arc. You know, we were against Green Bay um, a couple of days ago. Um, and they really looked like a very good team in that game. I really thought that, <laughs> really did not like that bet after um, after I watched that game. So definitely like Green Bay to to cake tear in this one. You know, they definitely got a very good offense. 177 adjusted offensive efficiency, while Cleveland State 257 adjusted offensive efficiency. So definitely like Green Bay, bleh, Green Bay plus the five and a half in that game. Um, the final game that we got on Friday's card. We got Coastal Carolina taking on Georgia Southern. Coastal Carolina, three and a half point favorites in this one. Um, Coastal Carolina comes into this game as the 149th ranked team in the hot tip at rankings at 11 and three. Georgia State, not Georgia State, Georgia Southern, 237th ranked team in the hot tip at rankings and 10 and seven on the season. Um, one thing that really sticks out to me about this Coastal Carolina team is their ability to grab um, the the offensive rebound. Um, 300 is uh, 300. 36.3% offensive rebounding percentage. Georgia Southern, 31.1% offensive rebound percentage. Um, and Coastal Carolina is shooting uh, extremely well coming into this one. 39.3% um, from three and 738 from the free throw line. Georgia Southern, on the other hand, um, while you know they're 294 from three, is nowhere near the worst in the country or anything. Their 52% from the free throw line is not good. When you're only making half of your free throws, it's very, very hard to win college basketball games. So, you know, I definitely like um, Coastal Carolina to cover that three and a half point spread to close out Friday's card.